Hi, good morning. In my last video, I had promised that I'll speak on East raised baked goods made through whole wheat flour. Let us understand one basic thing. We all are habitually eating refined wheat flour. In India, we call this as maida. Now, why is this so important? Why do we eat everything with refined wheat flour all across the globe? Because Mother Nature has given this grain a unique ability, a unique product which is called wheat protein. This wheat protein, when it comes in contact with water, forms gluten. This gluten is the most important component in a wheat flour, especially in a refined wheat flour. This gives a three-dimensional network. As a result of which, it entraps CO2 released by yeast. And as a result of which, you get a very nice volume in a bread, a very nice texture. The most important thing people like in a refined wheat flour is the whiteness of the product. Though not very good nutritionally, but it is a very good source of carbohydrates. So the whiteness is the key factor and the gluten, the three-dimensional network that it creates is the all-important thing in a refined wheat flour. Well, let, let me take you through a whole wheat flour. But first to understand whole wheat flour, let us understand the kernel of the wheat. This humble kernel gives so many fractions to us. Let us understand the fractions. Right at the center of the kernel, you have the bread flour. Below this is a biscuit flour, all the biscuit made out of it and then between this and this, this is the topmost which is the bran and bran is the source of dietary fiber which our present food system lacks. Below this is suji or we call it semolina. Below this is, we call it tandoori atta, which goes to the restaurants for our flatbreads. Between this and this, the bread flour and this is a, a fraction called resultant atta. In general language, we call it mill atta. So that means for every 100 tons of kernel crushed, generally around approx 5% of our atta is produced. But we, as we remember during our child days and uh, still today in the, uh, especially in the rural areas, we take the wheat kernel, we grind it and then we eat the chapatis out of it. So it's a hot grinding and we call it chakki atta. In the urban areas where you see ashirvad, all those packaged at a 5 kilo formats, 1 kg formats, grains are soaked in water, 4 to 6 hours approx and then crushed. As a result of which the chapatis made out of this is slightly white in color. The reason being that part of the bran is dissolved in water, hence the product is white in color. And this is the third, that is the milata. So you have got a chakki atta, then a flour milata, and then you have got the milata. What I have done is, Taking this mill atta into factor for the Indian baking market, 
I have developed a 0% maida bread, then you have got rusk, and then you have got cookies. Yes, generally you find in the market atta bread or we call it brown bread or whole wheat bread, but generally the market is 70% maida plus 30% Chakki Atta. It could be 60-40, it could be 50-50 also. So the, the, the product cannot be made by 100% um, uh, whole wheat flour. Why it cannot be made? Because the bran interferes with the gluten and doesn't allow it to function. Hence the quality will not be same as Defined wheat flow that is maida. On a scale of 1 to 10, if maida bread is, let's say, you give 10 marks, you can go only 7.5 with a 100% whole wheat flour. And as so, the texture won't be same. But the biggest roadblock is the color. As I said, Indian love whiteness, the whiteness of a refined wheat flour. And secondly, a whole wheat flour bread is slightly bittery, maybe after two days. Hence, as a result of which, Bakers use this bread. Now what I have done is taking into factor as I said the R atta which is obtained from the roller flour mill on bread with 100% and then you have got rusk and then you have got cookies. A premix has been developed. So if I say per kg R atta Keeping the infrastructure same of the baker, keeping the conditions of working same, the workers are same. In bread, it is 50 grams. In rusk, it is 40 grams. And in cookie, it is 30 grams. This is the premix per kg hour. The process remains same as I said. And the results on a scale of 1 to 10, if let's say you give bread 10 marks, let's say a jumbo bread of 1300 grams initial dough I would rate the product 8.5 made through this process if on a rusk you are giving 10 marks the product is 10 if let's say on, an, uh, on a cookie R atta based cookie will be 10 this will be 9 such is the difference that has come through Lot many work is going on in other application areas. In brief, this is the information that I wanted to give you. If you have any queries or you want any information on this subject, please feel free to write on my comment box below. Thank you so much.